Okay, so in this section, um, what I want to do is introduce you to the world of differential equations. Now, we're not going to get to solving the differential equations just yet because we need integration to do it. So we'll be using the techniques that we learn in the next chapter uh, really to get there. Okay, But this is included here as part of the spec uh, really so that you can kind of see how differential equations can be formed from a worded problem. So what is a differential equation? Right, well, a differential equation is just an equation that has a derivative as part of it. Okay, so you will have seen things like uh, dy by dx is equal to 3x squared plus 2, for example. This is a differential equation. And um, you will be asked in certain circumstances to solve differential equations. Now, some of them you will be able to solve. This one, we're going to be going on to uh, integration, uh, and you'll be able to solve that to find why. Okay, uh, So it's the reverse process of uh, the differentiation that we've been doing in this chapter. But this is a differential equation. And solving differential equations can be, in general, pretty tough. OK, um, differential equations and solving them uh, goes into much higher level of mathematics. Uh, and really, um, you can take this as far as you really want it to go. Differential equations can be used to solve um, or model, rather, a whole host of problems. Um, it could be looking at um, uh, rockets, for example. You could use differential equations to do that. You could look at the flow of um, viscous fluids, so um, things like um, molten glass, for example. Um, you could use them to look at uh, biological processes um, and... Um, things like uh, different populations interacting with one another. Um, you could use them as part of chaos theory um, to look at uh, chaotic attractors. And really, they really open up a whole realm of things to consider and to explore. OK, so what I've written up there is a very basic one. Uh, but you can also include differential equations that have the second derivative as part of it, a second order differential equation. This would be a first order differential equation. And in the majority of cases, all we're really going to do is very lightly touch differential equations. Um, you can very easily start to make them hard. Um, and in a lot of cases, you cannot solve them algebraically, and you've then got to look at using numerical methods in order to do it. So what are we really here to do in this uh, small section? Well, really, uh, what we want to do is to, to be able to take um, a bit of text and then produce the differential equation that would model that context. Okay, so it's really about interpreting the problem that's in front of you. So that's what we're going to be doing in this section. And in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to bring back directed inverse proportion to see how they fit into this picture.